naming and drawing quadrilaterals. Okay, here we have two quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are four-sided shapes, quad meaning four, laterals, sides. So we have um, this four-sided shape, which is traditionally called a rectangle. Okay, that's its, that's its most accurate name. You could allow, and it is allowed for you to, be, to, draw, to call this a uh, parallelogram, because the opposite sides are in fact parallel, so it is a parallelogram. But more specifically, it's a rectangle. So we should use the name rectangle. It's the one we should know for this. But if we do write parallelogram, that's accepted as well. This shape here, if I drew a little tassel on here and has some string on it, you probably call this a kite, which is, it, is its mathematical name. It is a kite. Now, drawing uh, a parallelogram on this grid, um, all we need to draw here is a shape where opposite sides are parallel. Now, we could go back and draw a rectangle. We could even draw a square because opposite sides are parallel on that. We could even draw a rhombus. But the standard shape that you should be familiar with for a parallelogram is something that looks like a pushed over rectangle. So a rectangle that's been pushed onto its side. So something looks like this. But like I said, um, technically a square is a parallelogram. So you could have drawn a square and that would get you, form that'd get you the mark. A rectangle is a parallelogram. So you could have drawn a rectangle of any size and that would have got you the mark. And you could have drawn a rhombus because that's a parallelogram and that rhombus is, um, if I could squeeze it in here, it's this shape here, what we, you might call a diamond shape. They are all parallelograms, so they all count, but this is the one that we're looking for. And you don't have to mark on the parallel sides, although you probably would if you were doing a standard diagram.